Cadmium exposure is something that we all experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, cadmium poisoning has been linked to like, bone diseases such as osteomalacia and osteoporosis. And so our research is kind of geared towards finding out how cadmium does this and working on ways that we can solve it. Say since we started, which was in 2003, we had probably 40 plus students um, be trained in the lab. We're one of the only labs really studying how cadmium directly affects bone health, uh, the bone forming osteoblasts, and we've been able to demonstrate that cadmium toxicity can directly cause osteoblasts, which form bone, to die through what's called apoptosis or programmed cell death. And that most likely is one of the ways that cadmium is contributing to the pathogenesis of osteoporosis. It's known to be a risk factor for osteoporosis. It, it's exciting to be learning something that you wouldn't really be normally learning in a typical classroom. Especially the project that I'm working on isn't something that's ever really been done before. The Embry, it's, um, it's a 10 week program and you get a grant through Embry. It's, it's a $5,000 grant, which is amazing. Um, and so you're here Monday to Friday, 40 hours a week, doing experiments and um, you basically have to give a presentation and do a poster presentation at the Embry conference at the end. So I started um, in October, just kind of learning things, reading a few papers and stuff, but um, it's not until Embry that you really get going and get into your own team. I think it's helping to give me a little bit of a better picture of what I want to do with my life. Um, because I do find it really interesting and I really like doing research. So we'll see if I continue on with it or what. But it's definitely teaching me about like, perseverance. So when your experiments don't go well, like just working through it. You know, I think you learn so much, especially things in like problem solving that you can use in the real world when you get to high school. Um, there's a lot of things go wrong in the lab. You have to learn to solve the problem. You gotta learn to think for yourself and to see what you can do to better yourself. And so for the students that get in the lab, they can see really, you know, what they're reading about in the textbooks, how that applies to the real you know, life situation. And so they get to do original research. Um, I think it, it helps them in terms of uh, learning lab skills, but also troubleshooting. I'm a firm believer that doing research is really just a great way to um, learn science and it's something that we now here have a lot of opportunities for students to get into the lab.